Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is episode number 125 and day 14 of our Advent reading through the daily Christmas reading episodes. I pray that they have been a blessing, uh, just quick little insights and the anticipation of the coming of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. So today we are going to be reading from Isaiah 61, verses 1 through 4. And so uh, thank you for taking the time to join me on this episode, and we will jump right in. It says, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. You know, this is um, a wonderful promise that Isaiah is writing of. Now, if you're familiar with any New Testament passages, you may recall when Jesus is standing up in the synagogue and, and he actually quotes this passage, rather por- a portion of it. And it's his announcement to those hearing that Jesus is the anointed and here is his message and here is his mission. And as as the Father sent him, so does Jesus send us. And so if you want to know if you if you're if you're in a in a place where you're wanting to to know what it is that God's calling you to this here will shed light on that very question. What am I supposed to do with my life? The answer is proclaim good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to provide comfort for those who mourn, to provide for those who grieve, to bestow on those crowns of beauty instead of ashes, joy instead of mourning, garments of praise instead of despair. These, you see, these people who say yes to that call, they will rebuild ancient ruins, these places that have been devastated for long periods of time. These people will renew ruined cities that have been devastated. So sometimes I think that, especially in my own life, as far as I can remember, uh, being a young person who, who wanted to, to say yes to God's call in my life, there was the, the struggle of trying to decipher what God's will for my life was. And it became actually unintentionally a burden because I was fearful of not accomplishing that, of what you might say, missing it. Now, no doubt there is a particular work that God has positioned you for, suited you 
individually for. But there is a work that he has called each and every one of us as believers to. And it is this very thing. This very thing that Jesus stands up and proclaims in in future chapters in the in the New Testament when he is here up, up, uh, upon earth. But it's this very thing that we are called to as well. And it's we could call it a maybe a general commission, but it, I don't want to detract from the importance of what this is. It's don't think of it as a, a general thing, but um, kind of a global commissioning of all believers. So if you're looking and you don't have something in particular that God has already sent you to do, even if he has sent you to this, it's never, this never becomes not a part of your mission. This is, um, is, is always running uh, parallel to what he has you do it. But if you're looking for something that you want to take up the torch and carry, it's this commission here. So get familiar with Isaiah 61. It's a wonderful passage of scripture, the whole chapter really. And so uh, I think we'll end it with that. And I pray that it's encouraging, a blessing. And I thank you for taking the time to join me on this day's reading. And until next time, God bless. Means that I'm close to you, I would trade a million lifetimes for a moment here with you. And in your house, I'll.